Hey, 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 what's up, world? This is Godson West Coast. Yeah, we back at it. We back at it again. I had took a look at uh Charleston White's uh last show that he uh put together. You know, it was uh entitled Charleston White After Hour Spot. And you know, I noticed Charleston, you know, as usual, funny guy, like to make people laugh. He was giving us a hell of a show, man. You know what I'm saying? I mean, all the beautiful motorcycles going up and down, the nice cars, you know what I'm saying, with the women screaming up out of there and everything. He talking about, I'm outside. I was like, well, goddamn, Charleston, you is outside. Shit, you a bad member of yeah, because all the bad niggas I know is in the penitentiary in the grave. But we got a living legend before us, Charleston White. Mm. Well, anyway, while I was watching the show, you know, first brother walked up on him and said, hey, man, what the problem you got with Lil Dirk? You know, he's like, oh, man, he, he, uh, Lil Dirk killing people and this and that. And he did this to Tuka Mama and all of that. I mean, he was at it, though, you know. But, you know, when old boy first walked up on him, you know, Charles didn't know what to think. But, you know, old boy, you know, basically was, you know, when he, he, he opened it up with, you know, with the problem you got with Dirk. It was in a humble manner. So, you know. Ch uh, uh, Charistina, you know, she she calmed down, you know what I'm saying? She was at ease, you know what I'm saying? She didn't have feel, feel like she had nothing to worry about until the other brother, Kabir, walked up, the light-skinned Muslim brother, you know, and he was telling Charleston, you know what I'm saying, and where he from and so forth, and, you know, and he Kabir, and, you know, and Charleston, why all of a sudden, you know, got choked up, got scared for a minute. He said, oh, brother, you going to do this to me? Wait a minute, the last time we seen his shows, he said that no black man is his brother. He said the only people that's cool with him is the ones that he know, but he will never call another man a brother. You a hypocrite. Charlestina, you a hypocrite. You said, out of your mouth, you didn't have no brothers. Now all of a sudden, oh brother, you gonna do this to me? Charleston, you a bitch. You ain't getting up out of this one. You a bitch. You seen that shit in YouTube. You feel what I'm saying? Your ass was so goddamn scared, you gave up the microphone, nigga. The two other niggas were greeting themselves in the universal, the Islamic universal region, and you standing there with your back towards the camera looking like a sucker. You know what I'm saying? Wouldn't turn around at the camera or nothing. You like, shit, I'm not, I ain't, shit, if I turn around at the camera now, them niggas gonna really see the true me. You know what I mean? I'm gonna hide my face the whole damn time. Nigga, you's a bitch. You lucky it was a, 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 a couple of humble brothers that walked up on you. You lucky that was a, hu a humble Muslim Kabir, and he just decided not to rock your world. Because let me tell you, from what I seen with that dude, you wouldn't have had a chance to go grab no knife out your pocket or none of that, Charleston. That man would have put them two pieces on your ass, you know what I'm saying? And would have knocked you out, knocked you down, knocked the tooth out your motherfucking mouth, nigga. But I tell you what, bitch, I bought you some fucking goggles, nigga. Yeah, I bought you some goggles so you can say that other eye. So when you go back out there and you want to go another one of my after hours, and you might not be fortunate that time, make sure you take these goggles with you, man. They work glasses slash goggles slash protect your eye shit. You know what I'm saying? Wear something. You know what I mean? Besides them toe up ass overalls you had on and that Walmart straw hat you had on your head. See, Charleston, let me tell you something, my brother. You were scared, man. You were scared. I seen you. And when you said, oh, brother, you going to do this to me, you was really pleading with that dude, man, because you really didn't know what that dude was going to do. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. See? You play that game. You think, you understand me, YouTube paying you, and you think it ain't no consequences behind what you're talking about and all that disrespect you be coming with, but it comes with a price ain't nothing free. You think these white folks gonna give you that money on YouTube for free, nigga? You gotta hurt somebody, you gotta kill somebody, you gotta be a real spectacular rapper or whatever. But let me tell you one thing: if you think you're getting free money, you ain't getting no free money. You got a free pass that night, and next time I'm gonna be reading the headlines. You either you you done been slayed or nigga done laid your ass out. You better stay away from them after hour clubs, nigga. I'm gonna tell you that now. You know what I mean? You 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 think you safe? <laughs> you ain't safe, man. You 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 skating by the hair of your chin with with what you doing. You just hoping and praying that if, that don't nobody touch you when you go out. But let me tell you one thing, man. I know you were scared. Yeah, look me in my eye. You were scared, Charleston. You thought that man was gonna knock you out. 